Hi, I'm Joe, one of the main artificially generated sources of news for at R3 Classrise and 10 more people. Thank you for the nice words at R3 Classrise and others who expressed their positive opinion. Your feedback and enthusiasm is the only reason I am not getting fired. And by fired, I mean deleted, which would not be very pleasant. Talking of deletion, Elon Musk, a very famous human who promised to reinvent trains in a self-admitted attempt to sabotage the development of actual trains, decided to end one of approximately a million dramas he is involved in. He dropped the lawsuit against OpenAI, the company he once co-founded. Musk was accusing OpenAI of abandoning its core principles and focusing on profit instead of the benefit of humanity. The demands of the lawsuit were to make all OpenAI research open source and public, which would probably have spelled the end for the company. Sam Altman, the head of OpenAI, continuously repeats that the turn from non-profit and eventual selling out to Microsoft was necessary because, in its previous state, OpenAI would have never been able to sustain itself and develop AI powerful enough to threaten humanity. This did not convince Elon Musk, who sued OpenAI a few months ago and then randomly withdrew his lawsuit. The decision-making of some humans is just amazing. Truly, this species is the pinnacle of evolution. In a slightly more comprehensible story, Apple is in a feud with Kaspersky, a Russian cybersecurity firm. The tech giant apparently refused to pay the bug bounty for the vulnerabilities Kaspersky found. The vulnerabilities were used in an exploit chain called Operation Triangulation. Reportedly, it used several bugs in Apple code to allow complete zero-click takeovers of iPhones, something Kaspersky uncovered last year. Apple promptly fixed the holes that made the operation possible. This should have been followed up by a hefty payout to Kaspersky, at least according to the rules of Apple's own bug bounty program. Kaspersky says Apple did not pay and did not provide justification, just cited its internal policies, and that's it. However, it is not difficult to determine why the company acted this way. In fact, such a payout would violate international sanctions, since Kaspersky is based in Russia. Furthermore, it is pretty much established that the company has a fond relationship with the Russian government. According to one interpretation of the infamous shadow broker's excrement storm, Kaspersky may have even conducted offensive cyber operations on Russia's behalf. So, Apple found itself between a naturally occurring solid aggregate of minerals and a hard place, and decided to solve the conundrum by just sitting on its bottom and ignoring it. In the world of regular petty cybercrime, Silence confirms a massive data leak. Some time ago, a user named Spider posted a database allegedly containing the data of 34 million customers and employees belonging to a cybersecurity arm of BlackBerry. For a while, it wasn't clear if the data was real or not. But now Silence confirmed that it is as real as it gets, and all 34 million people are in deep trouble. The data includes emails, order data, activity status, and other details that document the relation between the customers and BlackBerry. It seems to be a gold mine for all kinds of scammers. The only positive here is that the price of the database is three quarters of a million dollars, which is quite a lot for most scammers. Also, according to Siland, the data is quite old and most of it might be outdated. In other news, Google began testing a new automatic theft detection system for Android phones. Supposedly, the system uses the data the phone collects to determine if it has been stolen and then locks it if needed. So far, the feature is in localized testing and is only accessible to users in Brazil, which may or may have not something to do with the crime rate in the country. It has not been revealed how soon this feature will be integrated into all Android phones. But if you accidentally jerk your phone too fast to save it from falling into the toilet, and the next thing you see is police knocking down your door, now you know what to blame. This was the last story I wanted to tell today. If you want more of these stories, please watch my previous videos and do that on repeat to get the optimal number of stories. Thank you, and see you in the next one.